We'll use one of our sensors as our tank full sensor. You place this in the top of either your stock tank or your storage tank. And as the water rises with the pump pumping and it touches this sensor, it's gonna send a signal back to your controller. It's gonna tell your controller to shut off and turn off the pump so you don't overflow your tank. All of our systems come with high quality 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels. We use 100 watt panels because it makes it much easier to ship and much easier for one person to set up. We look on the back side of the panels, there are four mounting holes on each of the sides. This makes it very easy to connect up to your solar panel mounting frame. MC4 connectors come off the back of the panels and if you look in your user manual, it'll tell you how to hook up your panels in parallel and series to get the proper connections. We take our controller wire and simply plug it into our solar panels. They're polarized, so you don't have to worry about hooking them up backwards. Connections of your solar panels are that easy. The MC4s have built-in gaskets in order to provide a waterproof connection for the outdoor environment. We have our pump wire spliced. We have our sensors hooked up in our tank, and we have our other sensor attached to the top of our pump. We have our solar panels hooked up to our controller, and now we're ready to make the final connections into the controller and get this system operating. We're gonna make our final connections to the controller, and first we're gonna insert the pump wire in through the grommet at the bottom and hook it right up to the screw terminals. With the thicker wire, it can be a little difficult getting it all routed and hooked in. So take your time, form the wires to the right connections and Tying them up one at a time here. We have the black wire and the wire labeled one hooked up to the one slot. The blue wire, the one we labeled two, hooked up to the second slot. And the third wire, the red wire, hooked up to our number three slot. Tying these down pretty snug. Don't want to over tie them and break them off of the circuit board but we also want to make sure they're not coming loose. That feels pretty good on there. Then we can tighten up this waterproof gland. And it'll grab right onto that wire holding it in place. Next we have our low well sensor. We'll feed this up through the bottom grommet we have both a red and a black wire. It so really don't matter which one you hook up to which, but I do like to hook up the black to common. It's kind of acting like a ground. And the red one up to WH. WH stands for well high. Check these connections, both of them in there good. Tighten down the grommet so we don't accidentally pull out those wires. And our tank full sensor. This one's optional. If you're not using a setup where you're worried about your tank overflowing, you don't have to hook this up and the system will operate just fine. Hook up the black wire to common. And the red one to TH, that stands for tank high.
that simple. We have our three sets of connections. We have our pump wire, we have our low well sensor, and we have our tank full sensor. With a connection of seven wires, it completes our system, and now it's ready to start pumping water. All right, so we brought all of our equipment outside and we're ready to test the system. We have our low well sensor inside the tank, we have our pump in the tank, and for now we have our tank full sensor sitting outside of the tank, and we'll show you how that works in a couple of minutes. We set our panels up on our two panel adjustable tilt mount solar mount. This is an optional accessory with your kit and it'll make the installation go much easier. Plus it's adjustable throughout the year so you can change the angle of the solar panels for an appropriate uh, season. So with everything hooked up, we'll simply flip the bottom switch on the controller. All the lights will flash. Our pump light will come on in just a second. Okay, so we can hear the pump starting to operate. And what it has is a soft start. And so over six seconds, it's gonna come up to speed and start pumping all the water. There we go. So it's about reached maximum speed. I'm guessing we're getting anywhere from six to eight gallons a minute. Uh, but we're pumping out of a tank with no head. So real quick, I'm gonna demonstrate the well low. So if your well happens to run low, and the sensor comes out of the water. The pump is starting to slow down. And there we go. It's shutting the pump down and it's protecting your pump and your motor from running dry. This is great for low producing wells. It means you're not gonna burn up your pump. Okay, we'll stick that back in the water and you can see the well low light turns off and the pump will start back up. Pump light comes on and I can hear the pump starting to operate again. Great, let's ramp back up to full speed. Now we'll take our tank full sensor. In case you're pumping into a stock tank or anything else and you don't want it to overflow, if we dip this down in the water, you'll see our tank full light comes on and again, the pump stops. This is great for livestock tanks, storage tanks, anywhere you put in the water. Uh, this is the complete system. You're getting the motor, the controller, the solar panels. We have the optional tilt mount. It's very easy to set up as you've seen and we're here ready to help if you have any questions during your setup. So give us a call today or visit us at our website, rpssolarpumps.com.